So, I'm working on Project Turbo Z. Uh, been kind of a fight here. I the wheels and the tires that are on it are totally junk. Won't hold air for longer than a couple hours, maybe a day. So, fortunately, I had some uh, four lug steelies just laying around. So I'm trying to at least get it so it can roll. Uh, right now, I put a battery in it and a starter just clicks. So that leads me to believe that it needs a starter, which isn't a big deal. I got a brand new one there and I also got a good used one. So it's just a matter of actually getting the time to do it. So anyways, um, looked over the car a little bit closer, uh, at least on the top end, I haven't been under it yet. Um, really for an 84, that has sat for 32 years. It's in pretty nice shape. Um, got a little, little scuff mark there. I don't know how that happened. Fortunately, I don't think it got a tail light. Maybe scratched it a little. Passenger mirrors broke off, which I knew that when I picked it up. Um, inside is surprisingly very clean. Uh, it's got two brand new sticker tires. They're probably 30 years old as well, but they've never been on a car. <laughs> They're the correct tire for the car. Uh, driver's side mirror is hanging as, hanging as well. It's busted. Um, I said I did put a battery in and the starter just clicks. Sorry, it's so dark in here. This is not the normal side I work out of. Uh, the engine bay, I sprayed it down with air and uh, fought and fought and got most of the leaves. Uh, the possum that was living in it no longer has a home, so hopefully it's uh, found somewhere else comfy to live. Um, what else? Uh, the interior, from having the battery and everything, seemed to light up and work except for the radio. Uh, I haven't tried the wipers because I don't want to scratch the windshield with uh, junk wiper blades. Uh, then a little spot here on the driver's quarter panel, as mentioned earlier, um, so it's going to need some work. Surprisingly, you know, even even the back seat, yeah, it's cracked and it's dry. But it is definitely way better than a lot I've seen, especially for sitting out, you know, in the elements for the last three and a half years of its life. So, uh, I got a lug nut broke on the driver's front naturally, and I've tried all my tools and nothing's working. So, next step is to get the air chisel and hopefully don't screw the rim up in the process. Um, I haven't tried the passenger side, haven't even looked at it yet. So, I'm going to try to get the driver's side done, get that wheel changed hopefully tonight. And then, uh, like I said, just get it so I can at least roll it around. Um, right now with the tires going flat, it just does not want to move. And then the driver's front uh, wheel was locked up when I picked up the car. It broke free when I was winching it on the trailer, and it's now locked up again. So I may end up just today, just take the caliper off or at least eliminate the pads for now because obviously we're not going to need brakes for a little while, and it's all going to be gone through anyhow. So... Anyways, uh, update on that. Nothing major. Just keep working. Oh, yeah. Uh, so if it does need an engine, I have this one here. It's out of an 87 LeBaron. Uh, it did run. I heard it run. Unfortunately, there's no turbo, so that's not an end-of-the-world deal. And then I've got this engine. Just come out of an 89 TC Maserati. I did not hear it run. The flex plate was completely broke, so it wouldn't even crank. Um, so... This one's an unknown engine, but uh, between the two, well, the three, hopefully I can come up with something. I do have another project car uh, that's, I haven't done a video on it yet, so I'll throw a little snippet in here of what that car is. And uh, winter's here, unfortunately, in Ohio. It's going to start snowing soon. Actually, I think it's spitting snow now. So I kind of slow down in the winter on working on cars, um, just because I don't like being out in the cold too, too much. So anyways, that's the update. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, uh, subscribe, blah, blah, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks.